What's up guys, it's Woodgen TV here. Today we're going to be going down the theoretical rabbit hole that is the question, how fast does your ship travel between planets? Now before we get started, I just wanted to say that this video took a long time to put together. So I really hope if you guys liked the video, you would consider subscribing for more high quality Destiny content just like this. It helps out my channel more than you guys know. Alright, so let's jump into this. So in one of the first missions in Destiny, you are tasked with obtaining an NLS drive, or near light speed drive. It's also called a warp drive by your ghost. This warp drive allows you to travel between celestial bodies in our solar system in seconds. After installing the warp drive on your first ship, every ship after that comes with one pre-installed. So how fast are the ships in Destiny? Well, let's make one thing clear. The travel time between planets in Destiny is of course actually the loading time. So the travel time will vary depending on what activity you're doing along with what kind of internet connection you have and what console you're on. So the numbers may not be completely reliable, but it's what I have to work with, so let's make it work. So let's start with a journey from Earth to the Moon. So the Earth and the Moon are on average 238,900 miles apart. And after averaging out three trips from Earth to the Moon, it took me 15.35 seconds for the trip, which is a very quick 15,563 miles per second. But the question is, is that faster than light? And the answer is no. Although 15,000 miles per second is very quick, the speed of light is 186,282 miles per second, much faster than this trip from the Earth to the Moon. In fact, it's not even one-tenth the speed of light. So we have a while to go, but we can definitely go faster. So the Earth to the Moon is a small journey compared to what we're about to do. So why don't we take the planet closest to the Sun and go to the planet furthest away from the Sun that we can travel to? That would be Saturn. So if the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn were all lined up in a line, Mercury would be 852,222,000 miles away from Saturn. And the travel time between these two planets was 15.04 seconds, making the theoretical travel speed 56.66 million miles per second. That's amazingly fast. In fact, that's about 304 times the speed of light. So that escalated really quickly from not even a tenth of the speed of light to 300 times the speed of light, breaking the laws of physics completely. But it almost seems like Bungie thought of this. They added something in the game that makes this possible without breaking any laws of physics. I'll talk about that more later in the video. So 300 times the speed of light is really fast, but can we go faster? Oh yes, we can. So this part of the video is going to be even more theoretical than the last part of the video, but I think this is pretty interesting, so hang in there. So to show you what's going on here, we need to zoom out our solar system map, and what I'll do is I'll move the reef in the asteroid belt all the way over to the opposite side of the sun. We're just going to assume it's in a different part of its orbit, so now we're going to have to go from the reef all the way over here to Saturn all the way over here. So let's do the math. So at this point, the reef is 1.1 billion miles away from Saturn. And the travel time was just about the same as the others with 15.1 seconds. And that means you're traveling 72.8 million miles per second. So that's blazing fast. In fact, that is 390 times faster than the speed of light. So next time your game is taking a long time to load, give it a break. Sometimes it has a long way to go. All right, so there's one more thing in this video that that I wanted to talk about. So of course, everybody knows that you cannot go faster than the speed of light. It is completely against all laws of physics, making these theoretical speeds something of complete fiction. Or is it? Like I said, Bungie added something in the game that actually allows this with our understanding of the laws of physics. They made sure to add this description for the NLS drive that I talked about earlier in the video. Here's what the description reads. This propulsion system bends space around your ship, giving it the punch it needs to transfer between planetary orbits. And this is a in-game description. So basically what this description is saying is that your ship compresses space in front of it and then expands it behind it. This is actually a popular theory for faster than light speed travel. I'll leave a link down in the description if anybody's interested in reading up on it. But basically this technology allows you to travel faster than light but without actually having to travel faster than light. And even at these incredibly fast speeds, it would still take about 7,000 years to reach the next galaxy let that sink in. Makes you feel pretty small in the universe, doesn't it? All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would encourage you guys to hit the like button and consider subscribing. Like I said earlier, it really helps out my small channel. Also, I'm taking suggestions for the next video that I do. If anybody's got any good ideas, I'd like to see them in the comment section below. All right, so this has been Widgen TV. Thanks for watching, guys.